"'He ate more than the carpenter, though,' said Tweedledee. "'You see, he held his handkerchief in front, "'so that the carpenter couldn't count how many he took, contrarywise.' "'That was mean,' Alice said indignantly. "'Then I liked the carpenter best, "'if he didn't eat so many as the walrus. "'But he ate as many as he could get,' said Tweedledum. "'This was a puzzler. "'After a pause, Alice began, "'Well, they were both very unpleasant characters.' "'Here she checked herself in some alarm "'at hearing something that sounded to her "'like the puffing of a large steam engine in the wood near them, "'though she feared it was more likely to be a wild beast.' "'Are there any lions or tigers about here?' she asked timidly. "'It's only the Red King snoring,' said Tweedledee. "'Come and look at him!' the brothers cried, and they each took one of Alice's hands and led her up to where the king was sleeping. "'Isn't he a lovely sight?' said Tweedledum. Alice couldn't say honestly that he was. He had a tall red nightcap on, with a tassel, and he was lying crumpled up into a sort of untidy heap, and snoring loud. "'Fit to snore his head off,' as Tweedledum remarked. "'I'm afraid you'll catch cold with lying on the damp grass,' said Alice, who was a very thoughtful little girl. "'He's dreaming now,' said Tweedledee. "'And what do you think he's dreaming about?' Alice said, "'Nobody can guess that.' "'Why, about you!' Tweedledee exclaimed, clapping his hands triumphantly. "'And if he left off dreaming about you, where do you suppose you'd be?' "'Where I am now, of course,' said Alice. "'Not you!' Tweedledee retorted contemptuously. "'You'd be nowhere! Why, you're only a sort of thing in his dream!' "'If that there king was to wake,' added Tweedledum, "'you'd go out, bang, just like a candle!' "'I shouldn't!' Alice exclaimed indignantly. "'Besides, if I'm only a sort of thing in his dream, "'what are you, I should like to know?' "'Ditto!' said Tweedledum. "'Ditto! Ditto!' cried Tweedledee. "'He shouted this so loud that Alice couldn't help saying, "'Hush! You'll be waking him, I'm afraid, "'if you make so much noise!' 